So don't be alarmed, my eyebrows are going to come off. I got way too much. I don't know. Let's get started. Okay, so I get asked all the time about my skincare routine. I'm not super fancy. Um, most often I forget to wash my face at night, hence why I'm still wearing my makeup this morning. But I thought I would walk you guys through um, a good week when I do remember morning and night to, to take care of my skin, what I do. So a few things for healthy, clear, beautiful skin. Um, one, I think diet is really important. A vegetarian diet for me, I think has made a big difference because I've always had pretty clear skin and I've been a vegetarian for about 15 years. Another thing is having clean makeup and clean skincare. When I say clean, what I mean is that they're free from harsh chemicals or harmful toxins, things that disrupt your hormones. Um, a lot of products on the market today from lotions to soaps and shampoos to makeup all have a ton of ingredients that are really damaging to our bodies. They mess up our endocrine system and when that's messed up, it shows on our skin. So that is one of the main reasons I switched everything over in our home um, to Young Living and just to non-toxic products was for me and for my kids to keep our bodies as healthy as possible. And I think it shows with how healthy my skin is. So I use different products and have a little bit of a different routine morning versus night. I'm gonna wash my makeup off first, which I normally do at night, and then I'm gonna walk through my morning routine and just kind of let you guys know which products um, I would use if it were, you know, before bed. So let's get started. Is it this way? How do you do that? I don't know. Let's get started. So I use the Morale Luminous Cleansing Oil to take off my makeup. It might seem counterproductive to wash your face with oil, but the cool thing is that the oil on your face actually clings to this oil. So then when you're done and you wash your face, it all comes off. Okay, I bought this on Amazon. It is a little face massager, cleaner, scrubber thing. Um, I will link it in our Amazon shop. But I love it because it helps bring like blood to your face, helps your skin just feel invigorated and all the good things. So I use this with this to take off my makeup. So don't be alarmed, um, my eyebrows are going to come off. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Now, my face is covered in the cleansing oil. What I use next is to actually wash my face. This is the Art Gentle Cleanser and this special little brush that came in a holiday set together. Um, I love this, it's really soft and I feel like it does a good job of sudsing up my face. So this is a foaming pump. I like it a ton. It's really light, it smells amazing. And I just put like three pumps on there. This already feels so good and clean. I hate sleeping makeup. After I do that at night, I will put on the Art Renewal Serum. This stuff is made with vanilla and orchid petals and it smells really good. Um, it kind of helps tighten your skin and reduce fine lines. I'm almost 30, so this is like an important part of my regimen at night. Then um, I cake on, which I'm almost out of, my sandalwood moisturizing cream. This is one of my favorites. It's like a really thick, really moisturizing. So I like to put it on before bed and sleep in it all night. It makes my skin feel really soft. In the mornings though, I do things a little different. If I've taken a shower, I actually wash my face with this orange blossom face wash instead of the art stuff. And that's just because I keep it in the shower. So what if I take a shower at night, um, I like to use this Lava Mint Softening Foot Scrub on my feet. It makes your feet feel really soft and awesome. I am obsessed. So morning and night, I love this. This is Wolfberry Eye Cream. It is a Young Living product. I just like pretty things, so I tend to take labels off or re-bottle them into my own little cute containers. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's full of antioxidants, so it's really good for under your eyes to keep them bright and happy. You only need this much. So 
So next I use my DIY Glow Serum. I made this with rosehip as a carrier oil and then I use frankincense, lavender, ylang ylang. Um, I think it has sandalwood, it has a few other oils. If you use Young Living already, I can get that recipe for you. Um, but I love it, it helps create a youthful appearance. It helps your skin with aging and fine lines and blemishes and all the things skin related. This is like a magic serum. So I put a roller top on it, it makes it really easy. So I just roll it right on, slather it pretty much all over my whole face. And then very gently, it smells like heaven. And it feels like seriously my skin feels so soft right now. At night, I told you I use my sandalwood moisturizing cream. It's too heavy for the day. So I normally use orange blossom moisturizer during the day, but wah, wah, it's all out. So there's that. Okay, so the last thing I do is use um, the Young Living Mara Lustrous Hair Oil because it makes your hair feel awesome. So my hair is kind of poopy. Again, it came in a bottle that looks more like this with a dropper, but how pretty is this one? This stuff is legit and you only need a couple drops. One, two, three, because I have a lot of hair. Wind it up, comb it through. I only do the ends of my hair because it isn't oil. Brush it through. Okay, main managed. This stuff is my favorite. We use it on all the girls' hair. Since people always ask about my hair, I thought I would share that with you. This stuff plus the Young Living Shampoo and Conditioner are the only things that I actually use on my hair. And yeah, I love them both so much. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine video. If you do have any questions about Young Living or the products that I use today, just shoot me a message. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, we are gonna film a makeup video next, which I'm really excited about. A lot of people have been messaging me asking for my makeup routine. So stay tuned, we love you, and I will see you next time.